Hazard County, it's the afternoon of day one of early spring. Still raining. I think it's going to rain for like three days. I think when we saw the forecast last, we are in field such and such. Uh, 78, is it? Yeah, 78. And we are only 54% done plowing. Um, the good news is, uh, if I go to the map here and I scroll down to here. So here we are. Uh, course play actually had no problem figuring out this pattern of a field, which is kind of weird. Um, I let course play go ahead and do this section, and then I plowed this whole section here, which you saw me do this section. And I'm going to set course, course play back on its original course, because I want to get on to doing some other things today. Um, so when course play was busy doing the first section of the field, I was busy just doing the farm owner manager kind of things. Checking out some finances, seeing how, how much money I can borrow at, at the time. Uh, what my expenses are going to be like and uh yeah it's going to be tight here um if i go back if i go start course where are you going to be sir i have no idea you know what let me put you start course at the next closest waypoint i have no idea where your next closest waypoint is so let's just go drive course what are you going to do And I'm fine with whatever he does because whatever he misses, I can always go back and cast a little bit left over. But my guess is he's going to do enough to where we complete the contract. Um, what, 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 what? Uh, I cannot calculate. Oh, uh, whatever. It doesn't matter. Uh, we'll let him go on and finish. Uh, so yeah, this contract will pay 20 grand, so contracts are going to be very important for uh, what's coming up for the farm. So if we go into finances here, uh, we do we have borrowed $730,000. I can borrow, and I kind of didn't write down the number, but it's like $1.3 million and some, some odd change. So I can borrow like another $600,000, which may sound like a lot, but we don't have a harvester header, trailer, uh, mower, all that kind of stuff. Um, I was kind of thinking about, no, I'm in the wrong page, uh, like always. So we're looking at the Massey Ferguson, and I was kind of thinking about changing it up, but then again, I started thinking, is there any John Deere? There's no John Deere small tractors. Well, that's a shame. Um, and this was just coming to me after I started doing the time lapse at the beginning. Uh, this guy is a nice tractor right here for a hundred. Actually, you can up that horsepower to 225, is it? 261. Um, but you know, we can't change the paint and all that. So that's kind of, yeah. Uh, um, have we tried, uh, the 6R by Stevie, 6M series by Stevie? I think we had the 6R, but we didn't have the 6M. Can the 6M have a, 
uh, engine front loader. Oh, it can. It can do have a front loader. Uh, but I cannot do a three-point linkage in the front. Is that a problem for me? That's the question. Is that the question? I don't think so. Um, yeah, I was thinking about the Massey Ferguson. And the reason why I'm thinking... Ooh, 142 horsepower. What is the engine... Uh, no, I don't want front. Uh, no, I don't care about that right now. Wheel setup, global position cannot change. Engine setup, 164. So what I'm thinking is, you know, I do need another tractor. I need something with a front loader. Uh, I do something that could also take narrow tires. And I'm a I'm asking a lot here. Oh, can you not? Oh wait, uh, no wait. So hold on here. Can you take narrow tires? You can. Okay, so that's a plus. Um, yeah. So narrow tires, a front loader. But with decent horsepower, because I would like to do a lot of other contracts. Seeing that course play can kind of figure out fields like this. Um, I was usually a simple kind of farmer, but, you know, just get big fields and uh, not all these shapes. I loved how, it, it you know, I, I think I'm liking the map quite a lot because it's different from what I'm used to playing on, for the most part. Um, yeah, they are kind of square fields, but there's tree lines and such in the middle of it. So that's going to make it uh, a little bit more challenging, and I'm kind of liking that. So... Since I can get course play, like I can set course play to plow a big field like this with this tractor, but the problem is I only have one tractor uh, now. I can't do anything other than sit here and watch course play do some work. So why would I do that when I can go ahead and buy a tractor? And yeah, it kind of sucked. I got out of there. And where are we here? Uh, so what were we looking at here? Configuration. Do I need front weights? Um, we'll just put out standard. Uh, standard, uh, I would like to have the wide tires with weights to start with. Um, how odd does a John Deere look with pink rims for Breast Cancer Awareness Month? It does not look that bad. I, I am going to keep the John Deere green. I'm not going to have every piece of equipment black. I started looking at it and I kept thinking, all right, change it black, pink wheels. I'm like, yeah, I can't have every piece of equipment black. We need something to mix it up. Do I want GPS? Damn right I do. Uh, <laughs> whenever you're doing a big field. Um, engine setup, 164 horsepower. I think we can get a, a, a cultivator slash disc harrow. Now, the qu I don't know. I, I haven't done a lot of cultivating contract jobs. Can I use a disc harrow? I hope so, because that shouldn't require that much. Front loader attacher, yes. And I just realized I don't have the money to go ahead and buy this, because uh, I paid every money back that I could. But we're looking at $130,000. That's not bad. Um, and I don't know if front weight is going to cause a problem with the front loader attachment. So let's go in here. Let's go ahead and let's borrow. You know, we'll just go up to 200000 just for now. Luckily, without the contracts, uh, I kind of finally kind of got to figure it out because uh, without the contracts, I'd be up the creek. Uh, medium tractors, right? All right. So again, uh, yeah, it's a 6M. Uh, Teleborg, wide wheels, weights, uh, do that. GPS, yes. Front loader attacher, yes. Engine setup, give me the extra 20 horsepower. And yes, we're at the same price once again. Um, it's looking good. I'm liking it. Um, so we got a second tractor sitting here. And I'm just mulling things over because uh, you hit the buy button and you're done. Uh, so, yeah, we bought that. Uh, so, that's good. So, the other thing I need to look at is fertilizing. Now, with the big fields, yes, fertilizing would be great. Getting one of these. Now, ooh. Hmm. I assume that would damage crops. I know these will. Even if you put on the um, wheel setup, wide tires, standard tires, that will damage the crops. Uh, in seasons, we need to fertilize quite a bit. So, yeah, the crops are going to be growing. So, do I just go ahead and get this guy? I want to fertilize our grass today, if possible. I think I can. I mean, when, when I go ahead and do lime, definitely get one of these guys, because we're going to go through a lot of lime. So, it's only 18 grand. Let's go ahead, uh, main color... We'll go ahead and get the John Deere there and um, John Deere yellow. Let's get it to match up the John Deere because the John Deere would probably be the only one using it. 
So the good thing is I can also take contracts for fertilizing in the future. Um, I wish this held more than 3,200 liters, but I think it's going to be fine. Go ahead and buy that. Yes, yes, and yes. All right, so how are we doing on the contract? 70% done. That's 20 grand. That's going to pay for a fertilizer spreader that we just bought. Let's head on down to the shop. And that's not our John Deere. Um, our John Deere is going to be back here. Looking all nice and pretty. Now I assume I can fertilize the grass because it's in the germination stage. Uh, let me go ahead and get the course play all set up. Um, let's see. Fuel option. Where are my options for set up? Uh, okay. Uh, mini hub deactivate. And left control delete. That way I don't have to accidentally hit my mouse button and keep activating that. Perfect. So yeah, the pink wheel's up. Maybe we'll change it when October's over and breast cancer when this month is over. Or it'll be just a mainstay on the farm. Alright. So day one is spring. Yes, uh, so we got six days in the season in case you missed that. I did change it so... When I first uh, started the series, I just left it on nine days. And when I got to day two, I said, you know, nine days is probably going to be just a little bit too long. I don't want to... This is going to be a map where I'm not going to buy all the fields and go crazy. It's a four times map here on a single player. Um, but I will try to spread out the fields that we have instead of buying all around the farm. Uh, originally, the mainstay, we're just going to stick around the farm because, you know, it's going to be tight in cash. I just... I mean, we started with zero dollars, and uh, I've already borrowed, I think now, 850000 something like that. I don't know. doesn't matter. Um, yeah, loan interest, we're paying about $7,000 at night. Probably going to be a little bit more, so we'll just say $10,000 at night. Round it off, because uh, I'm pretty sure we're going to borrow all the cash that we can. Now, the more that we buy, I believe the more I could take off on the uh, borrow on the loan to a maximum of $3 million. Now, I was kind of curious. I, this, I don't think this is going to be a true gas station, but... Can I really gas... Can you gas up here? You can actually fill up here. Oh, <laughs> that's, uh, that's awesome. Um, all right, we got tunes here. And... Uh, like... Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. copyright uh, stuff, maybe? I don't know. Uh, that's kind of neat. I did not get out there before to hear that. Let's uh, zoom on by. <laughs> so I can gas up there at McDonald's. Um, I haven't eaten at McDonald's in like 20 years. And I'm talking about real life, and that's not a lie. Uh, so I don't plan on eating there anytime soon. But, uh, just as I started recording this, or just before I came on to record this, I started getting comments on my videos from the map author. So uh, I'm glad you found the channel. Uh, hopefully I'm doing the map kind of justice. Except for the first two episodes where I couldn't figure out the contract situation. Uh, that's my bad. Uh, but I'm loving the map. Um, and he gave me some helpful hints. So we're going to go up to the farm. Well, just before the farm. To where I said there's like a sell point there. So apparently I can buy seeds and all fertilizer kind of stuff. Um, I'm questioning the traffic here. Yeah, the traffic doesn't really like stopping for you. Um, welcome to the United States of America. When there's a stop sign, that kind of means... Uh, if you feel like it, we need to fill the fill the tool. Yeah, uh, yes, I know I need to fill the tool. We're gonna try it out. So I did go to the fill station there. Um, I did not go underneath the fill station, and that's where the symbols are to show you what you can fill up with. So this, like I said, this map is kind of big. There's a lot to go around and look at. It's hard to show off everything, but we will find things as we go along and maybe some of you playing along can say hey do you know that this is over here and you can do this and that so over here at the fill station above us um, right where it says uh, I think it's McCormick Farm Farm Mall I do believe you can get your seed there and if you come in here it's kind of hard to see I think it was I'll, I'll take you down both aisles here uh, so once you come in here you can fill up with I do believe it's liquid fertilizer that's your herbicide. 
Now, if you come around to this side here, uh, where's the symbols? Uh, you can buy pig food. There's your lime. And here's your solid fertilizer, I do believe. So, let's go ahead and uh, turn on fertilizer spreader. Am I not underneath it here? Uh, I'm seeing it flicker, so I must have went... saw something flicker. There we go, start filling. Uh, I was just wondering, like, oh, it gives me an option. So it is fertilizer only, right where I am. Oh, uh, wow, that, uh, whoo! <laughs> that got me nervous there for a second. I'm like, whoa, whoa, just a little bit there, cowboy. Uh, so, yeah, we're filled up. Um, and it fills up nice and fast, too, so I like that. Um, how is the tractor holding up to the weight? Eh, not bad. I was just thinking about front weights. I can always get front weights because we do have a a shop now at the farm, if you will. So I don't have to go all the way down the store to fill the seed drill, which I probably should have checked last time. I was just excited to get a seed drill and go ahead and get started seeding on our own fields. So if you come up here, I just see it, a uh, grain cell point right over there. I don't know if it's a cell point or a storage. It's got to be a cell point because there's no... I don't see where you can take it back out. And of course it says seed right there. So if we back up our seed roll, boom, we got ourselves some seed. I think I did come in here on the first episode because uh, you can do sugar cane, potatoes, sugar beet into those. So let's go ahead to our grass field and see if I can fertilize why it's in the germination stage. I don't think in real life you'd want to fertilize in germination stage. Um... It could burn the crop, I would think. But since it's raining, I don't think it's going to matter that much. Yeah, how'd you like me? I cut you off, car. Huh? How'd you like that? How'd you like that? Mm-hmm. All right, so here we are at our grass field. If you want to call it that. Uh, oh, yes, it's going to take fertilizer. Now, this is going to be crucial because this is going to be what's for our sheep. And actually, that spreader spreads pretty darn good. I was trying to remember on the Pacific Northwest, I thought our spreader held more than 3,000 liters, or am I getting confused? I mean, it, it should be the same one that we have here. So this job's not going to take us long at all. Uh, looks like a couple passes, and boom, we're done. But we're getting work done, and uh, we got course play going. Now, I do have course play set on to not getting paid for the workers. Uh, because I'm a cheap guy, so they can just uh, deal with it. If they don't like it, well, they don't have to do the job. Just saying. So I do believe this is our second stage of fertilization. Now, the one thing I don't know is in seasons, can weeds grow in a grass field? I mean, you would think that at some point it should or could or would or... You know, we get weeds in our lawns, do we not? I uh, didn't miss a little bit of a piece of over there, so we don't have to worry about our wheat and oat fields. Those are 100% fertilized. But now with a second tractor, this will allow us to have our dude spar uh, go ahead and do a whole bunch of plow contracts. Um, basically, it's springtime, so it's not like you're going to get harvest contracts and whatnot. Uh, gotta be careful of this uh, nice little bump I put in down here. See, I like... Like Nitro Dad, the uh, author of this map, said, and I, I agree with him here, the reason I can't smooth this out because uh, this platform right here is part of the garage because that's where the trigger is for the repair area. So it's kind of hard to smooth it out here. Um, but I'm okay with that. I don't... I'm not going to mind this at all too much. It's a little bit of a nuisance, but, you know, I didn't want to start the whole map over. Um, like I said, in the future, will I be here that long? I don't know. Uh, we'll probably move the main farm somewhere else in the future, but right now, it's what we have. So here's a little shed that we do have. I'm going to go ahead and park this John Deere in here for now. All right, so our second tractor is the uh, 6115M John Deere. I probably will need to put weights on there in the future, but it seems like with the seed drill, uh, seed drill, uh, spreader in the back, it's not having that much of an issue. 
Now, I do want to get prepped up for the sheep. And, uh, well, they got plenty of water. But we need to go ahead and take care of this. I'm pretty sure when summer comes, they're going to require some water. Um, and the reason why I'm going to use this is because I don't have to buy a water tanker. Now, it's like not, not like I'm going to complain because the water tanker is right there. But instead of me buying a tanker to fill up water for the sheep. Um, yeah, why not just do that? And that's not the right button I want to do. Uh, but while we're here, how are you getting along over here, sir? Uh, not too bad. What are you, like, 93% done? Really? All right. Um, the HUD is what I want. So let's go ahead and customize. And if I move, what am I moving? I'm moving this thing right here. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, which one is rotate? Spin and rotate. And rotate camera. Uh, okay, rotates the camera that way. And I rotate. There we go. That'll work. Uh, okay, let's go back to this. Uh, change height. Uh, I think I want to rotate it just a little bit more. No, nope. that way is good. It's far enough away. Um, let's go ahead and bring it on. Can I not lower it here? Aha, so you have to hit the left mouse button to move and then bring it down. Uh, I want to bring it down far enough. I just want to make sure that it's actually showing in the ground. Alright, and... It doesn't have to be that good peanut. Yes, it does. Alright, um... Confirm. I think it's good. Are you sure you want to save these parts position? Oh, no, 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 no. I want to move the other one too. Uh, yeah, move the other one first. There we go. Now you're learning. All right, let's come over here. And then rotate that like that. All right, and change camera angle, which is select camera C. Well, let's go ahead and move that a little bit further on down like that. And then we will lower it so I make sure it's kind of in the ground. I probably should have made it so it looks like the pipes are lined up. Hmm, I hope. I hope. Uh, looks like uh, my dude's fire is kind of slipping. Hmm. I want to make sure it's in there so I, you know, I don't care if it's quite... Well, I can still change the other one as well. Let's put that there. All right. Yeah, yeah, dudes for our uh, course play worker. I'll be there in a minute. All right, let's go ahead and move this down here. So I just want to line up so it's like if the pipe were to come out of here, it's kind of like lined up with that. And there we go. Uh, no regrets. Am I stuck? No, I'm not. All right. So we're all good there. Uh, so they're kind of lined up. Not too bad. Uh, looks like they're in the ground, which is good. And uh, you have no animals. Water is unavailable. Oh, yeah. Go figure. So we got our water set up all good to go. Uh, we don't need water because the rain is making it look full. Looks like it might be letting up a little bit. And it is getting towards the evening hours. Let's go ahead and see what this, this guy is having some issues with. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure I know what you're stuck on, uh, but I can... You're, oh, you're trying to back up still. All right. So I'll tell you what. Let's come in here. Stop the driver. And it's getting dark. Pretty darn quick, isn't it? So let's go ahead and put this down here. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll delete course play. And we'll turn that off. And see if I can see what the heck we're doing. So how are we doing here? 
Um, it's not that much left to do. So we'll probably finish off the, the episode in the evening here, t finishing up this contract. So it looks like the rain is kind of coming to an end. And the way I'm going to do the rest of the field is kind of like a, a counterclockwise motion. So for the next couple days in spring, since our fields are pretty well set, um, the Dutes Farm will probably be off doing contracts on a course play worker, bringing in some cash to help pay for some of these things that we're going to require. And with the John Deere, I may even do some things myself. Um, we may look into buying a cultivator because the jobs available, available to us right now is plowing, cultivating. There are some contracts for sowing. Uh, that's for grass. But if we do any of those contracts... Uh, definitely going to put it on a course play worker just because yeah I would need to uh, turn off the fertilizer because I don't want to pay to fertilize a field that doesn't require it in the contract but bringing that money in like I said I can borrow another six hundred thousand dollars and we just spent like a hundred and fifty thousand dollars and yeah the combine I, I do have a combine in mind um, it's one I have not used. Now the thing is, the class deal. Well, it's not a DLC. Um, the class Platinum Edition for Farming Simulator comes out in about two weeks' time, and I've already gone ahead and got that. So when we could be getting some class equipment, um, but I've already picked a combine that I want, and. Uh, I kind of want to tell you, but then again, I think I'll just keep you in suspense. Uh, we'll just have to wait. Because who knows, I may change my mind and, and just uh, not tell you at all. <laughs> uh, yeah, so this is a, we're, we're a long ways away from a combine, but between the combine and the header, we're looking at like $325,000, something like that. Um, I need, need to buy a trailer for the animals, uh, a mower, a baler. We're done with the contract on this field. Eh, you know, we'll just keep on going as I chat along here. Uh, what was I talking about? A baler and maybe a wrapper. Um, I got to get the front loader for the John Deere that we just bought. Uh, front loader's not too expensive, but I will need a bucket and a bale spike because we're going to wrap up. Uh, now, the one thing I don't know in seasons, can I give the sheep grass or does it have to be hay? But I think I need to make hay anyways because grass will deteriorate a lot faster than hay does. So I don't know... Hmm. I'm hoping I can get away without using a tether. As long as we cut the grass when the moisture is below 20%, and then we have a good day for the grass to dry and it's not raining out, uh, then it'll turn to hay by itself, then I can just bale it up. And we'll have some hay, and uh, we're going to put it into that red barn... Maybe. I don't know. Um, yeah, it's kind of a shame that I can't quite raise up the land there just a little bit. But if I'm just placing bales in there, it shouldn't be too hard. And then, of course, uh, we will start, uh, once we get the sheep, we'll have... Can you, can you lower down, please? Thank you. Uh, we'll start getting some wool. I, I don't know. I haven't checked the prices on wool to see what the wool sells for on this map. And we are playing on medium economy. So we're not playing on hard. That's for darn sure. But the contract is done in this field. I am going to finish up this a little bit. I'm not going to worry about the other piece where I, where I got the course play worker going. I mean... If, he was, if they're happy with my work being done a couple minutes ago, they'll be happy that I'm getting the rest of this field done. Yeah, we got a second stage of fertilization done on our grass field, so one more time. Um, it'll probably be, be like the third or fourth day of spring. And I hope, I'm hoping on the fifth or sixth day, we can go ahead and cut it and then also get our sheep. I'm thinking it's going to be the merino sheep because they produce the most amount of wool and don't require as much feed.
Now, the one thing I don't know is, and if you guys have up there play, been playing seasons, how long do the sheep live to be age-wise? All right, so let's get off the field here. Yeah, still trying to get used to the time schedule again because I've forgotten seasons. Um, yeah, it's not until it's not 7:30 at night it gets dark. In the springtime, it's well. Right now, it's 6:30 in the evening. All right, so let's go ahead and come in here. Wait for a second. Contracts completed. Let's collect that 20 grand. Now, the one thing I was thinking of. Right here, fields 72 and 73. I'm going to keep my eye on these two fields for contracts. The reason being, when it comes fall time, if I do have the cash, and it's this shy of $300,000 to buy these two fields. I mean, look at the size of these fields compared to what we have. I mean, these fields are not bad for starters. But in the fall, if I can afford these two fields over here, that'd be a nice little plot of land. I don't have to go far. Um, hopefully, I can afford it. So I think what I'm going to do is, when fall comes... I mean, you can just imagine the contracts for harvesting. And our harvester is going to be a decent-sized harvester. Uh, decent enough, I hope. Uh, <laughs> and we'll get some extra money by harvesting fields and getting the extra grain. And maybe we can afford something like this. Hopefully. Uh, that's kind of my plan. Uh, oh, yeah. While I was in here, let's, I want to go to money because let's repay as much as I can. Actually, I was up to $900,000. So... Yeah, we have borrowed eight hundred sixty-five thousand dollars. I'm actually going to borrow some extra cash. You know what? I'm just going to bring it up to ninety. Uh, the reason being, I'm going to have to pay some interest at night. So, yeah, I'm going to lose a little bit of cash, and I have no income whatsoever. Now, part of me is like, I should. Um, is there a bridge here? I don't really know the map that well yet. It looks like there is. But I was trying to think of like something I could put down to bring me some income in. Uh, maybe the solar panels, but even that for 120000 it's going to take a while for me to get my money back on that. Are we at the main road now? I do see a shed or something here. Someone's house. Main road, main road, we're good, in a way, as the sun sets. Head back to the farm, sleep for the night, see what day two kind of looks like. Like I said, we'll keep, I'm going to keep my eye on those contracts, and uh, I forgot what those fields are, 78, 79, something like that. Wish this thing had high beams. I'll just follow the taillights that are in front of us now. Yeah, so it's good to know. I actually got a farm right next to a viable cell point area so I can fill up with seed, fertilizer, lime. Right over here. That's perfect. It's like I did that on purpose. Um, are you going that slow? I'm going to that. You're going to turn left here very shortly. And I need to turn right here somewhere. I see the other farmhouse, and here we go. Watch out for the bump. This consider a lot like a speed bump, so anyone that comes into my farm would know to slow down. Um, I think what I also need here is some lights. Um, I don't think I even have any of the light mods downloaded or anything. I might have. I don't have them activated, but I think uh, we might put some lights down here. Uh, unless they cost money to run, that, that would really suck, man, because, uh, I mean, I'm short on cash as it is. Let's back that up a little bit there. It's nice that the rain finally stopped, but of course it stops right as it gets dark. Yeah, so as for the Colti Plow or Subsoiler, um... You know, I don't know if it's actually worth keeping since, you know, if I want to do contracts, which we're going to have to do a lot of, 
Uh, unfortunately, you can't use that, but that's nice to work on your own fields because you can plow and cultivate in a way at the same time. Uh, oh, that's right. I can't even go to sleep yet because it's not even 7 o'clock. It is almost 7, right? Oh, it is going to allow me to sleep. Um, uh, 12 hours will bring me just before 7. And it's going to suck at midnight. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So there goes, like uh, like I said, almost 10 grand. Game is synchronizing after the fast forward. Thank you very much. Second day of spring and it's raining again. But the good news is, um, yeah, it should stop with it very shortly, I guess. Uh, it says that this is germinated. It is? All right, you say it's germinated. So that means the seeds c took, I would assume. Interesting. Um, and our grass field is our grass field. Uh, if, yeah, if we just go to here and we'll take a quick look at... Oops. Now, that's first stage. That's second stage. I got one more stage to plop in there. Uh, 72 and 73 is what I got to look for. 73, cultivate. Um... Aha, so see, right there, cultivating, he is using that beast right there. So, disc arrows, it's right there. How much horsepower do I need for that? <gasps> 400. Um, our John Deere can't, <laughs> cannot do that. Um, 140, 180. So, I mean, that is only five meters wide. Yeah, so I mean, bigger equipment's gonna it's gonna hurt us. I mean, even if I know if I go here, and the reason why I look at model ones because a lot faster. I definitely can't use this one because that's gonna say yeah, five hundred and twenty, which is fine for a dude's fire. Uh, yeah, so that's gonna be something I have to keep track of, but it uh, needs to be cultivated. Uh, what was the other field number? I know I keep switching. Seventy two needs to be plowed. Is 72 on here? Don't see it yet. Oh, but that's something I can look at in between recordings here. But as far as our fields go, um, our grass field, this needs one more stage of fertilization. I'm sure these fields here, like I keep saying, are going to need to be weeded at some point. We'll see how much weeds we do get. Uh, the ground temperature is at 41 degrees. I would like to see that go up and up, but I don't have to worry about it because our fields are all planted. It says germinated, uh, 66 percent fertilized. We're all good to go. And uh, we're all good to go. So I, I do have 28,000 left in the bank account. But like I said, I can borrow like 1.3 to 1.4 million. Uh, but now that the farm's worth a little bit more because we bought a tractor, maybe I can borrow more than that. But we'll get there when we get there. Who left the doors open? Who left the doors open? Let's close those up. Oh, uh, yeah. So, uh, let me just wrap this up. Yeah, we also got our water set for our sheep. Uh, we'll have sheep in about four days' time. But that's going to do it for today, guys. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching, as always. I'll catch you next time in Hazard County, Georgia. But until then, have a good one. Birds, get off my field. Are you eating my seeds? <laughs>